Welcome to Faith Explorers Hub. Join us on a journey of discovery as we delve into the depths of faith, spirituality, and the human experience. Whether you're seeking inspiration, knowledge, or connection, you found your home here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest explorations. Let's explore together. The question of whether baptism is necessary for salvation has been a significant theological debate among Christians for centuries. Various denominations and theological traditions interpret the Bible differently, leading to diverse views on the role of baptism in the process of salvation. This article explores the arguments for and against the necessity of baptism for salvation, drawing on biblical texts, historical practices, and theological perspectives. Arguments for the necessity of baptism 1. Biblical commands and examples, Great Commission. In Matthew 28, 19, Jesus commands his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This directive is often interpreted as a clear indication of the importance of baptism in the Christian faith. Pentecost Sermon. In Acts 2.38, Peter tells the crowd, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. This association of baptism with the forgiveness of sins suggests its necessity in the salvation process too. Early Church Practices Early Christian Writings The Didache, an early Christian document, emphasizes the importance of baptism. The writings of Church Fathers like Justin Martyr and Tertullian also support the view that baptism is essential for salvation, historical consistency. Throughout the first few centuries, Baptism was universally practiced as a rite of initiation into the Christian community, underscoring its perceived importance in early Christianity. 3. Theological Significance Union with Christ Romans 6, 3-4 explains that through baptism, believers are united with Christ in his death and resurrection. This union is seen as a crucial element of the salvific process. Regeneration and Renewal Titus 3, 5 refers to the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit which many interpret as a reference to baptism. This suggests that baptism is a means through which the Holy Spirit works in believers. Arguments against the necessity of baptism. 1. Salvation by faith alone, sola fide. Many Protestant traditions adhere to the doctrine of sola fide, meaning faith alone is sufficient for salvation. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 states, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. This passage is often cited to argue that baptism as a work is not necessary for salvation. Examples of unbaptized believers. The thief on the cross, Luke 23 39 43, was promised paradise by Jesus despite not being baptized. This example is frequently used to illustrate that faith, rather than baptism, is the key to salvation. 2. Spiritual baptism, baptism of the Holy Spirit. Some argue that the New Testament emphasizes spiritual baptism over water baptism. John the Baptist speaks of Jesus baptizing with the Holy Spirit and fire, Matthew 3:11. This perspective sees the indwelling of the Holy Spirit as the true mark of salvation, 1 Corinthians 12:13. For we were all baptized by one Spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. This passage suggests that spiritual baptism is what unites believers to Christ. 3. Practical considerations, infant baptism and believers' baptism. Different Christian traditions have varied practices regarding the timing and mode of baptism. Some baptize infants, believing it initiates them into the covenant community, while others practice believers' baptism, emphasizing personal faith. The lack of consensus on these practices indicates that baptism might not be an absolute requirement for salvation. Exceptional circumstances. In situations where baptism is not possible, for example, deathbed conversions, lack of access to water, the necessity of baptism for salvation is called into question. Many argue that God's grace can operate beyond the sacrament. Conclusion. The necessity of baptism for salvation is a complex and nuanced issue within Christian theology. Those who argue for its necessity point to biblical commands, early church practices, and theological significance. On the other hand, proponents of salvation by faith alone highlight scriptural support for justification by faith, examples of unbaptized believers, and the concept of spiritual baptism, ultimately. The diversity of views reflects the rich tapestry of Christian thought and the different ways believers interpret their sacred texts and traditions. For some, baptism remains an indispensable sacrament, while for others, it is a significant, but not essential act of faith. The debate continues to shape Christian practice and theology, underscoring the importance of both faith and tradition in the life of the believer. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of faith and spirituality. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to Faith Explorers Hub for more inspiring content. Until next time, keep exploring and stay blessed.